Let's fire this old pig up. <laughs> Tar rural Mountain Dew and X shirt ready to go. Bump it. All yeah. three cops are parked, cruisers are parked, police station lights are off. All right guys, we're back in the shop today, doing a little bit of fabrication. We decided we wanted to put EGTs on the S10 because we want to make sure that this thing's safe when we take it out and go run it around and start racing it. So I've already drilled out the headers for the EGT bungs and we've got to weld all the bungs on these headers. These are stainless, stainless steel bungs. They're going to sit on there just like that. And then that'll tell us each individual exhaust gas temperature so that we know if we have a problem, uh, we'll start to see it in the EGTs first. We'll start to see hot or cold or, you know, what have you. Working on that today. Robbie's been working on the Nova a little bit. Patched up the frame in a couple spots. It had ripped the uh, bars off this original frame rail here that held the core support. So he went ahead and cleaned that up. It kind of popped this outer structure here off so he welded a new piece on there and reinforced it and then it ripped the alternator bracket that we had welded on here off there's a little tab so it ripped it open so he welded a new piece to cover that up we should be ready for the engine here soon and once we get it it should really come together pretty fast um, i've got all my tunes saved from last year so it's pretty much the same engine and just it's sorted out now and you know the pistons aren't hitting the heads and one deck height isn't 20 thousandths taller than the other side to side. Um, the Mallory metal isn't MIG welded in there and grinded off the crankshaft. Uh, yeah, hopefully better luck next time around. I'm excited to start racing this car again. I'm really looking forward to getting back in it. You know, I, I felt like I was just starting to hit my stride with it and starting to figure it out. We had won a couple races with it. You know, it already won big money second or third event out so hoping to get it back together this season and run out of some people's lives ow keep poking me with that thing sorry Dude, wait till it's hot and he does it well i stand on that side and he pokes me i stand on this side and he pokes me yep it's even worse when it's hot keep your poker to yourself a little hot engine you seen those videos on tiktok and the reels of the welders that come in they're like how much would you pay me an hour yeah how much do you think your weld's worth an hour? That one right there. That one? That's just a tack weld, but I mean, I don't know, probably 25. You think you're worth 25 an hour welding? Yeah. yeah. I, I'd say so. I mean, a lot of those people that get paid are just doing freaking MIG welds. <laughs> on, on freaking oil <laughs> on lines. Sewer pipes. Sewer pipes. I took the old tungsten for a swim. Yeah, swim, swim. When 
when your tungsten takes a swim, that's when it dips into your weld puddle and it stops your weld and then it fucks up your tungsten, so then you gotta resharpen it. you find any of these ferrules. I think I'm missing one. What goes in there? Right there. Eagle eye. Good chap. Eagle eye. You got like 2020 vision? No. You got 8060. 8060? Yeah. How the hell you seen that and I didn't? You got one vision. Here or there, it's not in your sight. Yeah. That's why you're so good at drag racing. I just got that. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. All right, so we got our header welded up, our EGT bungs. Not too bad, you know. Probably could have done better, but I didn't try my hardest. They're just EGT why bungs. Why didn't you try your hardest? Well, I mean. I, don't, I can't. I can't give a hundred percent effort all the time. You know. You're a slacker. <laughs> it's all right. It'll do. It'll do just fine. So there's the other side. Not bad. Not bad. It'll work. You like my thirty thousand pie cuts that I? There had to have been a better way than to do that. Well. Uh, probably. You know. <laughs> but that's not the way we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Down at a place called the Jug with a girl named Linda Lou. He said, hey, fat fella with a hair colored yellow. What you trying to do? Let's fire this old pig up. Two hours later. to start it up every once in a while it's on alcohol and you don't want it to sit for very long and not start it the injectors start to gum up you like my wheels for the nova put those on the front It look good, it'll match the chrome ones on the back. Fifty-two pounds of oil pressure. Like always. <laughs> so you haven't driven this thing since it's been refreshed, right? No. I you haven't even it. sat in that seat and what? Last time I drove it was before we didn't blow the head gasket it started leaking a little bit so yeah that's been since what october yeah it's a while just want to take it around the block and just make sure everything works right and the last time this car was raced was against beater bomb Seems like it's been forever ago. January.
might be out of fuel. Got the coast into this drive. That Rob bring us some fuel. <laughs> You're a gentleman. Triple A's here. <laughs> right before we left, I said, does it have enough fuel in it? <laughs> I heard yeah. you ask him too. <laughs> I thought it should have because it was full when we left New Orleans, but I've started it a lot since I then. I brought both. It was full, but New Orleans was about three months ago, and I've started it quite a bit since then. Probably use them more. Probably started it seven times since then. She's full, boy. How's that one? Filter could be clogged, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Because it died. It, it He went to mat it, and it, like, died, came back, and then he did it again, and it matted it, died. So I don't think it's a fuse. It's saying sinking on the dash. I'm not getting the RPM while it's cranking. Here we go again. With the bad luck. belt's gone. It's not gone, but it unplugged the crank sensor, fuel sensor. Just unplugged it, but the belt, the fuel pump belt rolled on the... It looks like it might have messed up the little end on there, where it clips on. Yeah, but we should be able to plug it in and get it back to... Oh yeah, it kicked the fucking... Well, there. did it, did maybe the belt grab this timing pointer? Probably. Because it was too close to it? Yep, see it broke it right there. Because it's in there, but it should start. But you're not gonna have an alternator, so you're gonna have to get it out and back to the shop. Yeah, Maybe. at least we know what it is. Hopefully, the belt will flip itself back around. See Where's the, it at? See the look at the fuel pump belt. Oh, that's really tight. Oh, hang on. There's a piece of the old belt well, lodged in there. Bump it. Snip it off. And Snip get it what off? This. You see this piece of belt? Yeah. It's lodged. It won't give me any more. That's all it would give me when you were bumping them. If I take these snips and snip it off, we'll get it back to the shop, pull that belt off. Yeah, we should loosen that bottom pulley. Maybe. Let's get a wrench on that one. This didn't destroy the wires for the cam Hello? sensor. Hello? Hey. Hello? Hey. You busy? Fly. Are you busy or what? Stop it. You're eating. Jesus. You're eating. Eating that question. You're eating lunch or something. Hey, I need yeah. a... I'm not either. <laughs> I need a yeah. belt. I need actually two belts. Are you, are you two ready? belts? Yeah. Are you ready for a number? Wait, Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me finish this. Get off the screen here real quick. Hold on. I wonder what uh, number you need. There's three different ones uh, on here. Bitch. He sounds like he's busy or something. I don't know. It's like he's a business owner. It sounds like you're busy or something like you're a business Are you owner. getting a freaking blowy under the desk over there or what? <laughs> hey, listen. Listen here. That's... You're breathing that's real heavy. Personal. kind of personal. You're breathing pretty heavy, though. Six feet. Oh, so this is a serpentine belt? Yeah. It's for the Falcon. So, oh, is it a... Uh, what is it? A V-belt? No, it's a serpentine oh, belt. Sir, yeah, so that would come up to a V belt. So, all, right, all right, so how about this number? 506-0353. You have one? I've got one. All right, well, we need two, but send one. us one.
he texted me too. He said, I passed him. Passed him on the way to the shop. Where's he going? Oh. In the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Char rural Mountain Dew. NX shirt. Ready to go. The first time driving the car and he breaks it. The alternator belt got into the timing pointer, cut it, rolled it under the fuel pump belt, and then almost tried to rip the cam sensor wiring out. So then it ripped the cam sensor out of the plug and then it died. Basically we got a black hole on the front of the engine that tried to eat everything. <laughs> nom 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 cookie water. Yeah, everything happens for <laughs> everything happens for a reason, you know. Black magnets. Tighten that up when we get back. See, this is why we drive stuff around, you know, before we go race, so we can find this stuff. It's gonna happen. Just want to take it around the block. Now we got a 20-minute video, and we can clickbait everybody and say that the Falcon broke down. Why are you rubbing my car like that? I'm just, I'm just trying to make it feel better for the neglect I mean, it's it had. It's your car, but it's your car. Trying to make it feel better. Yeah, it just it ain't been out in a while. You know, you gotta kind of give it a little rub, rub down. I'm clown foot over here with the fucking <laughs> robotic knee. Why y'all wake me up? I've been sleeping. It's winter time. It's cold. Leave me the fuck alone. You know we're gonna do go do a ton of racing here soon. That's the belt, Captain. Figured out the problem. Ain't got no belt on it. Zero four, zero three. I would probably try to get this belt, honestly. Only the best here at SRC. Why you gotta make fun of me, Bo? I used to draw those in high school on my papers. Is that the S? Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean, anyway? Super. Super Rob. Why'd you put your name on that Mountain Dew? Your initials? Nobody knows this fucking kitty. Because there was multiple ones every other shop. He has to. One in last night. He has to label them so everybody knows Somebody not to fuck it. with this Mountain Dew. <laughs> K H, right there. So, out of curiosity, what would happen if I drank one of your Mountain Dews at the other shop with your initials on it? Just so I don't drink someone else's. No. You afraid we got like the herps or some shit? No, it's mine. He said, y'all some questionable motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, you got the, got the clack, motherfucker. Bum, bum. <laughs> you know how many of your water bottles I throw away on a daily basis? Really? Damn. Hey, I know I took... You leave them sitting everywhere. I know I took two out of the fridge that your mom told me to take out yesterday to get the junior Chevy out in the shop because you said you guys took two sips out of them and you wasted them. Huh. They're getting a little antsy. Yeah. Things are getting heated here. We're finding out everybody's true feelings. I'm just gonna start labeling all my water bottles with my initials. Yeah, then we'll really find out who's wasting them. You. Ain't who's me. Wasted all the damn water. <laughs> <laughs> There's little starving pygmies. Well, we're getting ready to make a test hit. We just made sure that the nitrous is working, all the solenoids are coming on. We had to swap some wires around. Now we're gonna make sure that it's gonna pull timing. So I'm on the MSD view software. You just gotta, then you, yep, there you go. Now, step retard, total retard zero. Um, Base is at, 33 degrees. Is it a 6AL? 
six, what is it, a six LS ignition? Yeah. This is the, and the pink is tied into the wide open throttle switch? Should be, yeah. Okay. We should be able to, the blue is the launch. I so, should be able to see it here. Go ahead and hit it and we'll see what the timing does. What it? Hang on, let me let me put a little retard in it. I say we should be able to probably have to put a For two hundred, what do you think? Six degrees? Just be safe, yeah. This two technically two per fifty is what they say. Alright, so hit it. Pull eight degrees. Eight? It's two per fifty is what they say safe. So if so we got two hundred in it. Two, four, six, okay. eight. It is an L S so we know, but we don't, we've never sprayed it yet before, yeah. so we don't know what it's going to do. Um, let's see here. Timing tables. Go ahead and hit that wide open throttle switch. You ready? Yeah. It didn't. Did it pull anything? It didn't. I don't think it did. Let me see. We're right here at zero. It's at 15 wall cranking. Is there a pink wire out there? No, dude. Everything's fucking red and black. The only thing that's out here is a blue wire, which would be probably this. That's not doing anything. Hmm. So it's got 32, 33 in it. This should be 33 is final. All right, so 33 minus eight is what, 27? 33 minus eight, so it's three is 26. 26 degrees. Well, how about this? What's your two-step RPM set at? I haven't set it yet. So whatever you set it at, we'll just pull our, we'll pull the ignition timing out just a little bit above that, so that when you're driving it around, it's got the timing. And then once you get up above, you know, the say 3,000, is, is we need to set the trans brake while it's sitting here and push that out there and see if it cancels and interrupts. Yeah, we need to check that for sure. Yeah. So. Push the trans brake button. This one. It's unhooked now. That's the trans brake button now. Okay. So it doesn't interrupt. Yeah. So what you'll probably have to do for now is like where you go like half throttle on the trans brake and kind of foot brake, trans brake it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or go three quarter throttle on the brake, let go of the button and then floor it. Yeah. Just set it at fucking. We'll just set the to leave at like 3400. It'll take 3400. I know it will. It'll probably take 37, 38. Okay, so we'll we'll leave the ignition timing in it until 3200, and we'll start pulling it out. That way, it drives around and doesn't slobber and shit, and idles fine. If it goes 3200, then I'm uh, it'll stay out of the nitrous. Because if I rev it up and I hear it go, da -da -da -da, and I know I'm not on the spray, just don't go any. It further. should go to 3200 at half throttle. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'll yeah. know. I'm there, and then as soon as I let go, I just fucking mat it, and then yep. it should hit the spray. Yep. I'm gonna see if Bucko will go look and see if the cops are out patrolling. I need to see you. All yeah. three cops are parked. Cruisers are parked. Police station lights are off. You right there. Yeah, it goes to 100 over two seconds. Yeah. 
So it's real soft at first. All right, I just want to double check that micro switch one more time with my foot. It should be fine. Um, it won't spray. Everything's off. You sure? Yeah, everything's off in here. It can't spray anything. All right. You got it. You got it? Yep. I'm about to put a different switch, man, because you got to, like, cratch it down. I'm gonna put one That's of them how Stranger Things was. Yeah, I'm going to put one of the good switches on it. Get some pimp juice. I'm going to start the smart car. All I'm right. go through a couple of things. Well, guess what? What? Tomorrow morning's a fucking jolly pirate morning. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. It's Fat Boy Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I love jolly pie rides, too. Yeah, I got a whole fucking box of them. Hell yeah. Come on. All right, we'll wait on you guys right. to get here. All right, I'll All right. be there in about 15 minutes. All right. Bye. Bye. Whack of maintenance. Thing extended. If he if he can hit the nitrous switch, well, of course it had a two second ramp, so maybe it was on. I don't know. Surely it it came on at the shift. It needs it all at once. <laughs> I could tell when it was starting to, you know, turn on out there, and it started smoking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it come on about 200 foot out. Yeah, like I was trying to push it further I, could, I was back and I couldn't yeah. get it push any further I heard it come on eventually oh yeah it was on it came on right at the top of first gear mm -hmm. and I clicked second and it was on and then I went to grab third and it didn't want to shift it hit the limiter that there's something the transmission is not right I think high gears burn out in it but I got another transmission at the shop 350 what's in it 400. I got that one at the shop with the brake in it, with an ultra bill and everything on it. It should hold up. Sure. Put it in. feel good in second and first? Oh, dude, if I'm it would have went in a third, it was motor. If I could have got it to leave, like, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
It'll leave way harder than that 3200. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, but I think it'll probably leave 38, 4,000. But we'll just have to play with it. It was fun, though. If you can get the nitrous to come on in first, I think it's oh, going to fucking it's gonna I'm going to have up. to scoop the seat up yeah. when I go to race it. We need to get the um, interrupt. Interrupt. I have an interrupt board. <laughs> Wait till you see me trying to pull your puddle. I was watching you. I was, I was like, what is he doing you, over did there? Did you see what's coming out of it? No, I couldn't it see what's like coming out. It like fucking asphalt. <laughs> It wouldn't come out. That's my first burnout in the car, really. It was a good burnout. I'm going to pull my car in so we can look it over. It was nice and straight. Like, the car, dude, it yeah. didn't feel like it tried to move at all. It was it was nice and straight. It fun? A blast. I wish the spray would have been on from Jump Street and it would have yeah. stayed on the whole pass. It looked good when it come on. Oh, dude, it was like 4,800, and then the spray came on. It was it like, got happy. <laughs> yeah, it got real. It was nice. So are you getting rid of this? I'm thinking about trading it. For that. I would. He seems he seems like he wants to trade. This kid really wants it, I guess. The other car has a 425 with a good Windsor block, 69 Windsor block, trick flow heads, solid roller. And they think they want this. Yeah, they think they might want to trade. Yeah, it's down in Portsmouth. Huh? You can tell them to come get it. Well, we're going to make some arrangements. I could probably drive this thing down and swap the route. I don't know if that car will drive back here though. Or if they want to trade, they have a trailer? If they want to trade, tell them to get on up here. I wouldn't drive this freaking thing around the block. I drove it here. It drives good. I'm not you. It cruises really nice. It's just it has a, it's breaking up under load. So I got to figure that out. It doesn't even have a shifter loop. You can look down and see the ground. Okay, well, I got a shifter loop. I just got to put it on. It's pretty good. That's his uh, AC. Or sometimes it's heat, actually, from the transmission. I got the first message from Bucko. Did it blow up? <laughs> <laughs> he probably heard it go, ah! <laughs> he heard the fireworks, so. We saw a smart lift it. That's a good thing. After a few bubba bups. Well, I mean, dude, it came quick. <laughs> I, dude, I put it in the high gear, and it, it felt like it went in and went, Did it? I mean, it went straight to it. I, as soon it as looked it, like a revived Stranger Things scene. At least it was at night. See the pops off there. Oh, you can see. Oh, well, I got a great thumbnail, Rob. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what I like. That's, that's going to be straight clickbait. All right, it's looked over. Let's go make a hit. Uh oh. No, I got to <laughs> I got to find out why it's breaking up. But it's got a fold motor in it. <laughs> but it got a fold well, motor in it. Well, it's got a fucked up turbo kit that has <laughs> a lot of heat wrap that it heavily relies on because all the spark plug wires are directly against the downpipes and the headers. This is the Lord's Donut. Custard, baby. There's chrome. These are chrome. This thing still has AC on it? Yeah. <laughs> does it work? Yeah. It, it does? And it's charged. Well, so it doesn't work. Well, out here working on the Mustang, about 12.30. Um, got another burnt spark plug wire. So that explains our ignition cutting, or I guess under load, lack of performance, popping and banging out the exhaust. Every time it starts doing that, I got a good suspicion that it's a plug wire. Just the, the way this exhaust is, it's just really close to the plug wires and there's not a whole lot you can do thinking about just putting hood exits on it or something. Just running them right out the hood. Cause I'm tired of changing these damn spark plug wires, I'll tell you that. I got some old spark plug wires off the gray car I'm gonna put on there for right now. And uh, at least get it to where it runs good again. Yeah, that'll probably about do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Just trying to get through the bad weather lately. There hasn't been a whole lot of stuff to film. And we're waiting on some parts for the S10. Hopefully we'll be able to race next weekend or in a couple weeks. Maybe do a little bit of testing on the truck. And we got to do uh, 
a couple little things in the Falcon. I got a belt coming for it for the fuel pump and got to got to get the alternator belt back on. Since it stretched the fuel pump belt out, I had to order a couple new ones. Got one and then one for backup. So, uh, what else? Anything else you can think of? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to continue putting spark plugs in this thing and plug wires and hopefully it runs a little bit better. I might have this thing traded off. I'm not sure. We might be coming home with a, a notch back this weekend. We'll see. But uh, regardless, it's been a fun car and I've definitely had fun with it. Hopefully somebody else can have even more fun. Alright, see you next time guys.